In this video, we will show you how to get started with Odirvana. When you open Odirvana for the first time, you get a configuration pop-up to guide you through the step and show Odirvana where to find your music. Now, if you have skipped this step or need to add new music, this is how you can do it. First, open the settings here, on the top right corner. There are different tabs, and it always shows the audio settings first. To add your local library in Odervana, open the local library tab. Here you can add a folder, or several folders, containing your music library. These folders will be synchronized with Odervana which means if you add new albums or delete some in your folder, Odervana will rescan them and update accordingly. Odervana does not duplicate your music. It creates its own database with index and some additional metadata, which allows you to quickly and easily browse your library. Your files are not modified unless you rewrite some metadata in Odervana using the metadata editor. If you are going to use also a streaming service in Studio, we recommend you to activate the metadata recovery below, and you can also store the ID in your files. This allows Odervana to find other records related to it available in your connected streaming service, providing a better experience overall. If you have a Mac and have your library in Music or iTunes, you can synchronize your library here. Finally, a useful tip. You can listen to tracks without synchronizing them with a simple drag and drop in the play queue. If you are a studio user, let's open the streaming tab. Here you can connect to our high res streaming partners, Cobus, Tidal, and High Res Audio. You will then be able to search music both in your library and your streaming service and play them with the same playback quality. If the service is available in your country and you have a subscription or started a free trial, click on connect and enter your login and password. Once connected, your streaming service is added on the left as a new source and all your favorite album, artists and tracks are added to my music. The playlists you have created in your streaming service are also added to my playlists and you can edit them inside Odirvana. Now we need to select the system we are going to play on. A click on the speaker icon here shows all output devices available via USB, UPN PDLNA or Chromecast. So make sure your device is connected or visible on the same Wi-Fi network as your computer, select it and you are ready to play. Odirvana is designed to deliver the best audio quality to the converter or DAC in your system. One key element of this is to overtake the audio output of your computer and have an exclusive access to it. This is what the lock icon represents. It is locked and purple while playing. If you want to change your output device or your audio settings, you need to unlock the exclusive access and stop playing before you do it, not just pause the playback. You can click directly on the lock icon at any time. A confirmation pop-up will ask you otherwise. On the left side of the interface is the source list where you select what you want to see in the main view, your local albums, your favorite tracks, your purchased albums on Cobas, rows by genres and title, or the radios. You can also display the folder tree structure of your local library using the folder view. You can use the search bar to browse all your sources at once, or specify the search scope using the search icon next to each source. At the bottom is the player, showing the last track played or currently played. You can click on the cover art to open the extended player or on the artist or album name to open it. You can access your playback history and the play cue here. You can shuffle the play cue or repeat it and double click to repeat one track only. 
You can display the waveform of the audio file and also open the extended player here and flip it to access the technical player with the audio scan. And of course, control and mute the volume. On top is the toolbar, where you can go back to a previous view, switch between a track or album view, zoom to increase or reduce the size of cover arts, edit the sorting of your view, or filter the elements in your view to keep only some of them. You can open the Playlist Manager to create and organize your playlists and playlist folders. The last tool is the Metadata Editor, which allows you to see and edit the information about an artist, a track, a group of tracks, or an album you have selected. And finally is the access to the settings. There are specific video tutorials on each of these topics if you want to learn more. It is possible to customize some aspects of the interface. Let's open the settings and go to the Appearance tab. You can choose the light theme and use a bigger font if you prefer. You can also customize the source list by moving up or down the sources to help you reach more quickly what you use most. Next are the settings regarding the remote app. You can use the links in this video description to download it. Now, enjoy the music. Thanks for watching.